Zuyo's car accident brings him to a magical space where he can post some exciting videos he has watched to the heavens and receive massive rewards. As a cheerful person, Zuyu certainly doesn't mind finding some fun for himself. So inventory. The 10 most handsome moments. In the final battle, Shining Digga breaks through the darkness. Facing the apostles head dot on, Shinji fled and recaptured Lingbo. Looking at the secular world, Chen Xuanzang used the Buddha's divine palm to suppress Sun Wukong. Infinite deep space, Zhang Beihai naturally chooses to advance for. As Yu replaces some of the odds with rewards and gives them to the inventory figures, the changes in the heavens are no longer just about foreseeing the future group ID 141486532 keywords of the novel. Zhu Tian Inventory Starting from Shining Digia, Shockwave no pop-ups, Zhu Tian Inventory Starting from Shining Digia, Shockwave TXT Complete Collection Download, Zhu Tian Inventory Starting from Shining Digia, Shockwave Latest Chapter Reading Chapter 1 Opening Inventory Shining Digga, with the appearance of Gatanji. You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 1 Opening Inventory Shining Digga, with the appearance of Gatanjal. I, am I dead? No, from a scientific perspective, it's impossible for a person to still have consciousness after death. Death is like a broken lamp. So, is this. Not dead yet. Zuiyu opened his eyes and found himself in a pitch black void. The eerie thing was that even though there was no light source within his line of sight, he could still see his body in this pitch black space. I wanted to support myself to get up, but I bumped into an invisible barrier. After slowly exploring for a while, Zuiyu realized that the space he was in was not very large. It was a rectangular structure of approximately 1 by 1 by 2, similar to a coffin. Nothing can be done, in this pitch black world, so you can't help but feel a bit desperate. Although I have advanced cancer at a young age and don't have the money to treat it, I don't think this situation is much better than not dying. But fortunately, not long after, a message came to Zuiyu's mind. After digesting it, Zuiyu laughed uncontrollably. This pitch black space is a gap between the heavens. Here, with appropriate methods, one can observe everything in the universe and exert influence. Here, there is no concept of time and space, and it can be the same size as a microscopic particle or even more magnificent than the entire macroscopic universe. And the reason why Zuiyu laughed so hard that his facial expression management was out of control was because he had obtained a cheat, which was able to observe the heavens and all realms from here, record, and even project. And it can also absorb energy from the heavens and all realms, whether it's the origin, emotional points, or any other thing. As long as Zuiyu causes an impact, he can harvest the most fundamental power. These fundamental forces are simply a panacea, whether it is to create a luxurious villa for oneself in these gaps in the heavens, or to personally enter the heavens and realms to experience different customs and traditions, they are all effortless. In all the realms of heaven and earth, the power of the root is extremely precious. Even the rulers of a mythological world can only be said to be the richest in their own world, as they are limited to their own world. And Zuiyu can transcend all of this, even if he is just counting and projecting into the world of the heavens, it may make him instantly surpass some of the root masters. Without hesitation, Zuiyu began to use the system to observe the heavens and all realms, and quickly came up with the first inventory. After confirming that there were no issues with the impact content, Zuiyu launched it into the all heavens and all realms. So, at different timelines, in different parallel universes, multiverses, a screen appeared in the consciousness of all intelligent beings. Zhu Tian Inventory The Ten Most Handsome Moments Ranked in no particular order, you are all the most handsome. Inventory 1 When darkness envelopes the world, when the brave are defeated by demons, and when humanity is glorious. Shining Digga appears. Marvel World, the director of the Divine Shield who is remotely controlling Coulson to excavate Captain America, made Nick Fury frown. Director, 
I think there may be someone with extraordinary mental abilities nearby, and something strange has come to my mind. Colson, who was excitedly waiting to retrieve his idol, reported his situation not calmly. Everyone present here has experienced this situation. The problem is big, Colson. I also encountered a similar situation at headquarters as you. Tell me, is there a stock taking in your mind? Nick Fry asked Agent Colson with certainty. In the EVA world, Ding Yuan Tang propped up his head with both hands and looked at the screen in his mind, feeling lost in thought. Behind him, Dong Yue Gengzhao put down the phone and said, I have confirmed that it was not the influence of the apostles. In the world of Journey to the West, Sun Wukong, who was trapped at the foot of the Five Elements Mountain, squinted his eyes. After five hundred years of oppression and ineffective resistance, he learned not to be taken aback in everything and to use his magical power, which flowed like sticky honey, but he did not find any traces of the mountains on his body affecting his consciousness. In the crevices of the multiverse, the observer who is observing Ouchuang killing the last Avenger is observing in disbelief around, even a top-dot-level individual like him is silently invaded by consciousness. The mentality of being calm for countless years has produced huge waves. With his hands behind his back, he looked at another planet indifferently. Even without his intervention, Daxiad, who had already been turned into a desperate hell by the army, also showed a hint of emotion. On a three-body planet, the entire planet is filled with emotions of shock and fear. Coincidentally, there was no discovery within the singers of the three-body civilization, which also sparked a huge wave. Countless worlds, countless intelligent lives, upon seeing the screen in their minds, have already formed a massive source of power. And these fundamental forces are collected by the system without reservation. Placing a cover there, but not playing it, is Sui Yu's goal. As soon as he obtained this source power, Sui Yu threw himself into the projection mode. He had no intention of simply playing a video, but wanted to borrow the first wave of source power to make this video more realistic and showcase the shock of the video content. The screen starts playing. A handsome young man took out his personal contact facility, and within the contact facility the size of a makeup mirror, his captain's voice came from. Return to base immediately, Zoga is starting to invade the Neon. Next to the young man, a girl with short hair exclaimed in surprise, how could it be? Didn't it just die? Upon hearing this, most people who can see the video can guess that although they don't know what this saga is, it should be a collective and aggressive thing. Unlike the worlds that speculate on these things, the world of Diga, which has just defeated the dimensional monster Karanbo and his team members who love to devour children's dreams, is planning to send the rescued children home when these things come to mind. And the two people who appear in the scene, several team members are also very familiar with each other, they are clearly Daegu and Lena. What's going on? Why did Daegu and I appear in these scenes? I don't remember this at all, Zoga. Is it a monster? But. There's no Zoga among the monsters that appear now. Lena asked everyone present's doubts. However, the video did not immediately reveal what Zoga was. Instead, the scene took a turn and arrived at a seemingly calm sea. In the next moment, the sea was only shimmering with ripples, causing towering waves. Endless black mist surged out of the sea, with thunderous thunder and inexhaustible lightning, seemingly cheering for whose return. Soon, this sea area became like the end of the world, and many ruins like buildings slowly emerged. The eerie architectural style, in this dark mist blocking the sunlight, with only lightning bringing some illumination, seemed to tell the world that there was a demon, a demon who destroyed the civilization represented by the ruins, returning from the bottom of the sea. At this moment, people with extraordinary strength in the heavens and all worlds felt the ominous meaning brought by this ruins. What a pure darkness. And. On such a large scale. De Cuba, who had just recovered from the ruins, was planning to kill a few people to play when he saw this ominous scene. Even though he claimed to be the ultimate darkness, he was still shocked and couldn't help but temporarily suppress his desire to kill people for fun, wanting to see what was behind this boundless darkness. Marvel World 
Koichi's expression remained unchanged as he watched the scene of black mist spreading, while borrowing his dark hand from Domum's place to eavesdrop on his self-talk. Very good, very good, this pure darkness, this amount, can match many planets. I'm going to find this planet, I'm going to find this place and swallow it. Then I can beat it all. I'm going to wash away all these years of shame. Koichi silently added billions of backstabbers to Domum, similar to secretly absorbing some pure energy, and then ignored them. According to her perspective, it was clear at a glance that this was something beyond the multiverse. If nothing unexpected happened, Domum, as a mentally unstable person, would only be able to find a shortcut in 200 million years. The ruins are too vast, almost like a continent, and in the rising turbulence of the ruins, a submarine is struggling to sway. Inside the submarine, the digging well and the new city struggle to control the posture of the submarine, calling out to headquarters while paying attention to potential undercurrents and debris that could appear at any time. What is that big black shadow? In his anxiety, DG saw a pair of eyes emitting an ominous red light, as well as his huge body. When those blood-red eyes appear, most people think it's nothing, and even those who are powerful think it's nothing. Some of the strong in this group either feel the oppression and negative emotions in the blood-red eyes, or through these eyes, they see millions of years of despair and darkness. In the years following the world of Dijia, in the world of Dana, the reclusive Daegu on Mars watched this scene solemnly. Katanjal. End of this chapter. Chapter 2. I can't win at all I can't understand. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 2 Cannot Win at All I can't understand, Hikari, have you seen it? The first generation hurriedly arrived at the Science Bureau and found Max, who was observing him tied to the analysis bed. Gino next to him trembled as he watched. Hmm. Is there anything wrong, man? This video is really amazing. The analysis bed didn't detect any abnormalities. Hikari withdrew from his thoughts and saw the first generation say. I've been to this planet in the video. The first generation of language was not surprising, and Hikari suddenly became enthusiastic. The first generation looked pitifully at Max, who had nothing to love, and said, Not long ago, when I first returned from Earth, I chased a monster during a mission, and then somehow crossed the cosmic barrier to reach another parallel universe of Earth. In the end, because I had no extra energy, I had to seal that monster there. Looking at Hikari, the first generation said solemnly, after sealing off the monster, I sensed a hidden darkness on that Earth that had been hidden for many years. It is estimated that it had been hidden on Earth for at least 30 million years. That darkness was very powerful, so I remember very clearly that it was the feeling in the video. It is not wrong, this suffocating sense of oppression, I will definitely not get it wrong. However, at that time, I really didn't have any extra energy to explore, and the exclusion of the universe was strengthening. After giving a destined person the summoning item of my clone, I had to return to our universe. Hikari's pure white eyes suddenly lit up a degree, and he turned his head to call out to Torgia, who was eating melons, quickly, prepare another analysis bed and put man on it. If nothing unexpected happens, I can find the coordinates of this universe. It's not important for the Science Bureau of the Kingdom of Light to jump around, as the content of the video is still ongoing. A huge magic bird flew over the city, even without launching a direct attack, its huge size and incredible speed caused a typhoon-like explosive airflow, and the vast majority of landmark buildings were destroyed by the violent airflow. And this situation does not only occur in neon lights. With the command of Victory Team Captain Zhu Jianhui, computer genius Yi Rui retrieved information from various countries around the world. Whether it was the Big Apple City of the Freedom Lighthouse, the extremely cold regions to the north, or above the pyramid, the figure of the magic bird Zoga appeared coincidentally. The brute team of TPC Lighthouse Branch has been completely destroyed. Yi Rui trembled as he announced the shocking news. However, before he could digest such shocking news, the screen in front of Yerue turned into an ominous warning red. Base. 
headquarters base has been invaded. What are you talking about? The angry police station leader G immediately questioned Yi Roy, but the alarm that even turned Yi Roy red couldn't be fake. Even if he was confident in the defense work of his own police station, he knew which was more important. He ordered, call the police station to handle it immediately. However, things are not so simple. Yerue looked at the various feedback from the base and said with confusion and anxiety, however, nothing has been damaged, the security defense system has not been activated, and there is not even a quality response. Encountering such a strange situation, Yi Rui couldn't hold his breath anymore. Thanks to the comfort of the sex commander, he calmed down and said, something is charging up from below the base. As the screen rotates, countless black mist rises continuously from the atrium of the base. Wherever the black mist reaches, all artificial light sources are extinguished, as if to turn the TPC headquarters, which has a separate power supply system, into darkness. In an indescribable world, a skinny dark-skinned man put down his red wine in his hand. Although there was no movement, the entire scene changed greatly. The high dot end restaurant instantly turned into an underwater place with no visible fingers. However, his clothes did not get wet at all, and even the chair he was sitting in remained unchanged under the strong water pressure. Cthulhu. The skinny man uttered a strange tone that did not sound like human words, calling for the deep sleep in the dark. In the darkness of the deep sea, a huge figure opened its eyes, with billions of life cycles making its rhythm incredibly slow. Your bloodline has appeared in other universes, said Neurototip without even standing up. Yes. Who? Your eldest son, Gadanotoya. The video continues, and the men and women at the beginning of the video rush into the command room. The entire base is now surrounded by black mist. In short, the situation is urgent and a decision must be made immediately. At this moment, a panting middle dot aged man ran in and said, there's a problem with the F4 hangar. The hangar staff are taking refuge on the Atticus and hoisting it onto the flight track. In the picture, a huge mothership like a giant ship flashed by, making many technologically advanced worlds in the sky envious. According to the description in the video, this thing can fly, it is a real aerospace mothership. Upon hearing this, the real ace pilot Lina immediately began operating the hoisting with Yi Rui, while Zong Fong and Degu went to rescue other base personnel. Inside the base, many TPC members holding high dot tech energy guns looked at the endless black mist in fear. They are also old employees. In the past three years, there have been so many monsters that not only have they faced each one, but their courage must have been honed to the point. However, in the face of such a strange and desperate situation, even they could only fight and retreat. But the speed of the spread of the black mist was not slow. Many police officers who retreated slowly let out painful screams when they came into contact with the black mist, and then fell to the ground in the black mist without a sound. The energy gun, which was originally able to scratch many monsters, has little effect when fired on the black mist except for creating some light effects. When there was only one left, the leader of the sect and the members of the Daegu team finally arrived and pressed the automatic door behind them. The leader of the sect was still trying to attack, and just as the automatic door was about to close, the sect quickly dodged and entered the door without hesitation. However, before De Gu could catch a few breaths, he noticed that black mist was seeping out from the crack in the door. Zongfang and Daegu retreated with their people, taking out their personal terminals and reporting to the command room. In the public channel, Director Jigong understood the meaning of the Zongfang's command and stated that he would not abandon the base. But Director Zay was well aware that human life was the most important, and through Noai, he issued an order to retreat to the Atticus to the entire base. In the outside world, there are ruins everywhere, as if a picture of a global nuclear war, deeply impacting the vast majority of low-dot-level civilizations who have never seen the world before. Inside the shelter, it seems that the space intentionally left by the black mist was only a small amount of time before riots began. Some foolish people went crazy and caused trouble, wanting to leave the shelter. 
Zongfang and Daegu returned to the command center. Along the way, they had some understanding of the black mist and knew that the base would definitely not be able to be preserved. They suggested to the highest leader of the entire TPC, Director Zay, Director, retreat quickly. Lena, who was responsible for hoisting, also received news that the Atticus was in place. The middle aged man, like a researcher, immediately issued a command to activate the Magus power system. Director Jigong looked at Director Zay, who was lost in thought, and said, Zay, go ahead. I have put too much effort into this base. Although it won't move, it's like a ship, and I want to stay until the end. What nonsense! However, Director Zay, who has always been gentle, stood up and glared angrily at Director Jigong, saying, the prerequisite for struggle is that you must live. On the sea near the submarine, it was still stormy and billowing. Looking at the Jafu of Xincheng who insisted on calling for help, Masumi Horiai looked at the photos of his wife nearby and thought that he might have to explain here. However, the submarine, which had finally stabilized, began to shake violently. It's that guy, it's starting to take action. On the sea surface, huge snail-shaped creatures emerged, and the already fierce thunder became even more intense. If it weren't for the nearby creatures being eroded by black mist and dying, these lightning bolts would have electrocuted many big fish and shrimp. TPC headquarters, Yeroe also monitored the appearance of Gatanji. This is the ruler of darkness. It wants to devour the entire earth, murmured intermediary Hui. There is no direct evidence, but everyone knows that the terrifying monster in front of us is the source of this boundless darkness and despair. The screen playing the terrifying figure of Gatangel suddenly went out, while at the same time, short circuits were occurring everywhere, countless precision instruments were overloaded and exploded, emitting a continuous stream of electric sparks. Black mist has invaded the command room. Intermediary Huidang immediately ordered a retreat, even stubborn Jigong timidly withdrew, but still insisted on listening to Captain Victory's words in the command room. However, while others were evacuating in an orderly and rapid manner, Daegu remained silent as he watched the pervasive black mist. The Lina team member who was concerned about Daegu couldn't help but call out to Daegu when they saw him motionless. Captain Zhu Jian Hui and the others who turned around also stopped and looked at Daegu with concern. What's wrong with you? Daegu didn't look back, but firmly said, I want to. I want to go alone. No way. Lina knew what Daegu meant and immediately retorted. Captain Yashiteru also understood something and turned to Director Zay and Zongfang Commander, saying, You guys go first and bowing deeply to the worried Director Zay, please. Glancing at Kazumi and Daikurina, Zay nodded and followed Zongfang's command to evacuate to the Atticus. When I first saw Ultraman, I thought I had met God and thought he could lead humanity on the right path, said Zhu Jian Hui slowly as she turned around and looked at Degu, but the fact seems to be different. Later on, I realized that Ultraman is both light and human. So, Degu team member, you don't have to face an enemy who can't win at all. You should understand now. In the darkness, Daegu turned his head and said to Juma Hui, I can't win at all. I don't understand. End of this chapter. Chapter 3 The dying light runs through the body, enduring pain and still wanting to fight. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 3 The dying light runs through the body, enduring pain and still wanting to fight at this time, the heavens and all realms were stirred up by the words of Degu. Even civilizations that have only had a little trouble on the planet all along know that the darkness blocking the sky and sun in the video is not easy to deal with. Those with stronger perception can recognize their own powerlessness from the darkness of Gatanger. Faced with such an enemy, let alone fighting, those who can muster the courage to strategically retreat are all warriors. However, this seemingly ordinary young man has to face it alone. However, the universe of the Kingdom of Light, the separation of Ace and Beidou from the Southern Sunset, as well as the first generation being studied by Hikari, Severn Jack, can all understand how far they are hiding. 
The energy of the light in this young man is not the wrong person, and he is a great human being. In the Diga universe, having just experienced the Kiri Elad incident, I had some doubts about the identities of Daegu and Diga as a mediator, and even confirmed through video that Daegu was Diga. And the entire command center, one by one, is the crystallization of all human elites, and they can also understand what these almost explicit words mean. Degu. Thank you for your hard work. Warm-hearted Uncle Zongfang commanded and patted Degu's shoulder. Without saying a word, Xinxing hugged Degu, who had an awkward expression on his face, and forced out a lot of tears. However, how many of these tears are heartache, how many are emotions, and how many have turned into Ultraman's jealousy only the new city itself knows. The video continues to play. Upon hearing the Gu's answer, Zhu Jianhui smiled and said, Yes, since when have I become less convinced of fate? I must win, as a human. Lina, who thought only she knew that Daegu was Dijia, exclaimed in surprise, What? Looking at Captain Jiahui who believed in him, the Gu remembered the ups and downs of joining the victory team, the help that the captain had given him, and his journey from being an inexperienced warrior to the last hope of humanity today. He is also very afraid, just as Zoga, he is not playing easily, and he will face the dark source that has already enveloped the world, the evil god. Gatanjal. Fear, but still have to face it. If it's just scary, then you have to avoid difficulties. What is the meaning of the past struggle, and what is the meaning of your own beliefs? Death is terrible, but there is always something worth taking the risk of dying and fighting for. Seeing Daegu nodding affirmatively, Jujihui turned around without hesitation and pulled the reluctant Lina towards the Atticus. Lina. Daegu looked at Lina with hazy eyes. Not long ago, the two had just confided in each other, but at this moment, it may be a farewell. It's your job to rescue everyone from the base. After speaking, Daegu pulled open his collar and took out the spark prism from his inner bag. Ju Jianhui looked at Daegu, who was gazing at the spark prism, and asked, Is that okay? You must win. Diga Ultraman. Then, she pulled Lina away from the end of the corridor. Looking at the spark prism in his hand, which seemed to have lost its former glory due to endless darkness, Daegu swallowed his saliva and made up his mind to communicate with the spark prism, pressing the switch. With a crisp sound, a dazzling light burst out from the black mist that gradually enveloped Daegu. This beam of light flew out of the command room, in the world where there was no light above and below, Digeot. No, Daegu flew alone in this despair, heading towards the source of darkness. On the Addis within the base, Lina and Captain Jujihui arrived late. At this time, the Addis was already full of power, and it was like a Noah's Ark, carrying the hope of the entire base and even all humanity. Lina, who had her mentality sorted out, sat firmly in the driver's seat. As a true ace pilot, Lina was the best pilot who could never give up. Artedis, start moving. With Lina's control, the massive mother ship flew out of the base that was already surrounded by black mist. At this moment, Captain Zhu Jianhui did not forget the Horai and Xincheng in the submarine. He came to Director Zai and requested to disembark at a safe place. After a long flight, Diga crossed most of the Pacific Ocean and landed on the Lului ruins where Gatanjal was located. Throw a blue energy bomb directly, but the powerful energy bomb can only ignite a small cluster of sparks on the outer shell of Gatanjal. This powerful defensive force made Dijia take a step back in surprise. But soon, Diga had mustered up the courage, adjusted his position, and rushed towards Gatanjal. He wanted to test whether his fist could test Gatanjal's defense limit or weakness. However, the power that could easily reach tens of thousands of tons could not even ignite a single spark. Instead, it was damaged by the black mist spewed out by Gatanjal. Then, a huge pliers that could rival Dijia's entire upper body suddenly emerged from the sea, flying him fiercely. Quickly getting up from the water, Diga keenly sensed the movement behind him, and as expected, it was a tentacle that touched behind him. However, with just the power of a tentacle, 
Digga could not resist and was easily overturned in the seawater. In the distance, under the control of Lena, the Attica stopped steadily on a coastline that was not shrouded in black mist. Yeroe also received good news that the analog communication system of the ground wave was still working, and then connected the footage of Digga struggling against Gitanjal. However, this is not a communication system that was overlooked by Gitanjal, but deliberately left behind by Gitanjal. What he wants is for humanity to see how they have brutally abused their last hope, in order to harvest the distorted faith that has been dormant for thirty million years and has been lost for a long time. In this way, we can reap greater despair. All the heavens and all the realms have seen this, and even such operations have given many villains who rely on negative emotions to become stronger new ideas. This operation seems to not only be able to comfortably abuse those self-righteous righteous individuals, but also gain more despair from ignorant people. In the video, people from an underground shelter are gathered together to watch the scene of the battle between Dijia. Watching Dijia's powerless battle, one of them said dejectedly, it's useless, we can't win it at all. Dijia's current situation has become even more difficult because he was wrapped around his neck by a tentacle, and with tremendous force, Dijia fell into the water again. However, next to the disheartened office worker, there came a voice cheering for Dijia. Looking up, many children were shouting together, Digga, come on. Ten thousand miles away, Dijia seemed to sense the call of the children. After standing still, he endured the excruciating pain of his tentacles wrapping around his neck, crossed his hands on his forehead, and as soon as a red light flashed, Dijia, who was originally well dot proportioned, quickly bulged his muscles. The body, adorned with a blend of red, purple, and silver, has transformed into a predominantly red hue. More muscles often mean stronger strength, and the tentacles that were originally unable to break free no matter what, are forcefully torn apart by strong tearing. The damage to his body undoubtedly brought pain to Gatangel, as the roar of an elephant shattered the nearby ruins and buildings. Gatangel let out a roar, and Digga also let out a brave roar. With a run and a boost, Digga rushed towards Gatanger again, his fist containing unimaginable strength hitting his shell, igniting a bright spark. This attack is useful. However, before he could hit a few punches, the warning in his heart sounded, and it felt like he had been hit by pliers before. Looking back, the huge pliers were quickly approaching, and Digga decisively flicked his hand with a blue flare, causing the huge pliers to weakly fall into the sea. Another pincer took the opportunity to fly, intending to ambush Digga and clamp his throat. However, Digga reacted and grabbed the huge pliers he wanted to approach, exerting force on its horns. It seems that everything has improved with the encouragement of the children. However, Gatangel has more than just a pair of pliers, let alone a tentacle. Not far away, a tentacle extended towards Dijia. After Dijia knocked it off with his backhand, he continued to fight against the more threatening pliers. However, without noticing for a moment, he was knocked over by the tentacle and fell to the sea again. Standing up, Digga unleashed a powerful ultimate move, Dillahum Light Flow. A light ball, like a small star, formed in Digga's hand and aimed at Gatangel with a wave. The orange-yellow high-dot-temperature light flow hit Gatangel. Victory teams, who have a good understanding of Digga's move, are looking forward to its success. However, Gatanger seems to have done nothing about it. Digga gathered his energy again in disbelief, unleashing the powerful Pelio light. However, the strongest output was still Guasha, and Dijia clenched his fists with a heavy heart and put on a fighting posture. At least strength is useful, it's not in vain. He loves to use powerful types so much. Even if you hit with your fist, you still have to beat Gatanji to death one by one. However, the energy indicator light, which had already started flashing, told Dijia that time was running out. The anxious energy indicator light was beating frantically, like a death knell, reminding Digga to retreat. However, Digga remained steadfast in attacking Gatanjal with his fists. However, the loss of confidence caused by the ineffectiveness of the strongest attack made Digga's fist no longer as powerful, and his combat awareness dropped to a very dangerous level, 
even causing the same move to take effect again. The black mist sprayed out from Gatangel's face, enveloping Diga's chest, resembling the skin of a super alloy. It was corroded and pitted, and what should have been light like particle blood was quickly downgraded to basic particles by the black mist, dissipating between heaven and earth. Painful Digga was easily trapped by pliers and tentacles, while the lively Gatanji easily restrained Digga. Although only about ten seconds have passed, the indicator light may flash rapidly, as if it is about to go out the next second. Dijia knew that the energy had not dried up to that point, but an immense sense of crisis had enveloped him. With a bright purple beam, it spewed out from Gatanjal's mouth and effortlessly penetrated Digga's chest. The timer disappeared, and a large hole appeared on Digga's chest that could be seen from behind. This hole was the center, and Digga slowly turned into stone. Degu. Upon seeing this, Lina couldn't help but shout out. Ju Jian Hui also shook her head and murmured to herself, He won't lose, Digga. He won't lose. However, petrification had already begun, and the struggling Digga once again set his hand in a rising position. However, the timer was completely destroyed, and most of his body had already been petrified. Digga could only reach out his right hand and completely transform into a stone statue. End of this chapter Chapter 4 The Mockery of the Curie Allowed People You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 4 The Mockery of the Curie Allowed People Originally, Daegu was just Dijia. Yeroe said incredulously in the temporary command room of the Addis. Whispering twice in agony, the leader of the sect closed his eyes in pain. His teammates who spend day and night together sacrificed their lives in the face of darkness. Looking at Digga, who had already turned into a stone statue, Gatanji proudly gently pushed Digga down with his tentacles. He only killed Digga's body, intentionally leaving Digga's consciousness alive. After sleeping for thirty million years, awakening was to harvest another wave of distorted faith in wisdom and life, and to defeat their former hopes and beliefs, so that they could quickly transform the faith in Digga into themselves. And coincidentally, after the spark prism was pierced through Dijia's chest, it also transformed into a real prism, limiting Daegu while protecting him. Watching Dijia's stone statues being pushed out of ancient ruins and falling into endless abyss, Lina couldn't help but cry out the name of Daegu. Seeing Dijia also being turned into a stone statue and defeated, even the children who believed in Dijia were holding their heads, and a sense of despair appeared on these children who symbolized vitality. A young man wearing glasses did not show the desperate expression of the majority in the shelter. He walked among the crowd like a wise man walking in a disaster, pondering how to awaken hope. At this moment, inside the Atticus, Lena, who knew the futility of crying, did not give up. Instead, she was discussing with the developers of the spacecraft's power system whether the spacecraft's energy could be input into Digia to achieve the goal of awakening. However, Dr. Octopus did not believe that a magical life form like Ultraman could be awakened by the energy of only physical light particles. But we have to give it a try. We need to do everything we can. Everyone was pondering Lena's words, as well as the possibility of awakening Digga in this way. Director Zay is not someone who gave up easily, but he frowned and said, But now, we cannot decipher the mystery of the stone statue as a giant's body. No, there's a person who knows how to use light. To transform a stone statue into an Ultraman. It's just a pity, suddenly remembered something on the side of Yiroi the leader of the sect on the side knew who Yiroi was talking about and said, you are referring to correct Mu Jingwu. Yiroi's words can be said to have caused a huge uproar, and the meaning is very obvious. Someone once relied on their own strength to become a powerful life form like Ultraman, which made many people crave for Masaki Kyogo. Based on the insights of these people, it is natural to have guessed that the world in the video is not the same as the one I am in. However, the desire for such a powerful force has already integrated into the nature of these people. Even if there is no clue, they all coincidentally let their subordinates start investigating this person named Shinmu Jingwu. For example, the group collection in the world of Hokage. 
Ri Zhao, wait. When I gain this power, I will be the best candidate for Hokage. Isn't that what you said? Hokage must be in the light, and there is nothing brighter than this giant of light. In my mind, I thought to myself, after being a Hokage, if I have nothing to do, I will tease Ape Flying Rijiao and shout at him, I am Hokage. Then I waited for Ape Flying Rijiao to reply, Tuanzang, you will regret it. And then slammed the door. Tuan Zhang was extremely eager to find this Shen Mu Jinwu. Thanks to Tuan Zhang's brainwashing, Gong is basically a puppet who does not think about fighting in orders. Otherwise, his subordinates who have been ordered by him to investigate Chen Mu Jingwu should not complain about where to investigate and watch videos crazily. As the screen turned, inside a prison, a man looked at the pitch black sky and muttered in despair, it's completely like a dream. It is obvious that this person is Nobuyuki Masaki, and he has long seen such a terrifying scene through suspected premonition of dreams. With the appearance of Kengo Masaki, various forces in Marvel World have mobilized. Although I have never heard of TPC, which appears to be a sizable organization, the world background is always modern. What if this is an organization that will be established in the future? Especially looking at those sophisticated equipment, it is obviously the future. If it really happens to be the future of our own world, it would be a win thoroughly to leave Gatanju alone. Not to mention finding Masaki Kigo, just the black technology at the tip of the iceberg cannot have developed in one or two years. If it were in their world, the blueprints of these black technologies might be coming out soon. Even if they were to obtain these black technologies, they would be enough to make a profit. For a while, the flight tickets to Neon were booked out, and some Neon gathering areas were also blocked for various reasons. Some relevant departments began door dot to dot door investigations in order to find the so dot called Jinmu Jinwu. Director of the Divine Shield, Nick Fury, was not idle either. He was also one of the people searching for Masaki Kigo, but he also gave other orders to his subordinates, such as searching for giant statues, conducting and searching in the South Pacific, and so on. Thanks to the efficiency of the Hydra, Nick Fury's commands were being executed quickly, and the participants were even arranged by the algorithm hidden in the shadows in just 10 seconds. The fastest one to find, of course, is still the TPC of Diga World, after all, Kigo Masaki is already a well-known scientist and entrepreneur in their world. At this moment, Masaki Kigo also had a proud expression on his face. He, who had not yet been beaten by Diga, firmly believed that he was the protagonist of the world and the person who could turn things around. Originally, he was confident that he could become an Ultraman just by himself. Now, with the help of TPC, he felt that it was very possible to become a powerful warrior that surpassed Diga in one fell swoop. As the video footage rotates, a spaceflight fighter jet breaks through the atmosphere, using its superb skills to shake off the chasing Zoga and fly on the devastated land. What exactly happened? The changes on Earth can be seen even by Captain Gale on the moon, who is 380,000 kilometers away, but no matter what, TPC headquarters cannot be reached. As a member of humanity, Captain Breeze personally piloted a fighter jet back to Earth, wanting to explore the truth. Blindly searching for possible contact points, Captain Breeze suddenly heard a voice. Can I take your plane? Who are you? Captain Breeze, who knows that the communication system has almost been scrapped, frowned and asked the voice did not introduce itself, but said, I am directly conversing with your consciousness. Please take me to a place. Upon hearing this, Captain Breeze's brow furrowed even deeper and he said, What did you say? In the deep sea, inside the dolphin submarine, New City lay on a chair like a salted fish, worried and missing her sister. In the prison, the guard opened a protective door and said, Jingmu, someone is coming to see you. Jingmu Jingwu turned around and saw that the person coming was a beautiful nurse. The nurse came straight to the point and said, We want to leverage your knowledge and wisdom. Jingmu Jingwu smiled and said, What I have done is actually. What I have done is actually right, 
said Masaki Kigo as he looked into Mayumi's eyes looking out at the dark world outside the window, Cheng Mu said clearly, the people of this world need light to guide them. But this person can never be you. Mayumi could sense the implied meaning of Masaki Kigo. You're right, said Masaki Kigo, looking back at Mayumi again on the shore where the Atticus docked, Lina gazed at the deep sea. The interior of Diga, which had already been transformed into a stone statue, was being sealed by a crystal-like structure, as if sensing Lina's call. Daegu struggled to open his eyes. Ha ha ha. Although there should be only one person's space, suddenly a burst of laughter came from Daegu, and two men and women wearing long robes appeared in front of him. If it weren't for you, we Kiri Elad people would have saved foolish humans long before the resurrection of the dark monster, said the man in the robe crazily. Daegu looked down upon the defeated general under his command and said, Do you mean that obeying you will make it okay? The woman in the robe beside her took up the topic and said, It's already too late. The god Kiri Elad has given up on this earth. I've said before, don't think you're not worthy to be the guardian god of this planet. The man in the robe pretended to be sophisticated and laughed recklessly, as if trying to regain some face. Seeing this scene, Bruce Wayne of DC World frowned. This pair of men and women, claiming to be Kiri Elad people, clearly claimed to be trying to save humanity instead of defeating Gatangel, indicating that they had no such power at all. They were just riding on the statue of Diga and showing off their power. But this is not the point. The point is that the Sodot called Kiri Elad people are obviously aliens, but they look exactly like the Earth people. Judging from Daegu's attitude towards them, they must have had a World War I. If I had the ability to disguise myself as a local resident of a planet, I would have to act low.key and observe the power of the planet before deciding how to occupy it. Bruce Wayne immediately recorded in his notebook that he needed to make contingency plans for aliens, monsters, and super-criminals who could disguise themselves. End of this chapter Chapter 5 Warning of the Battles in the Kingdom of Light, Chattanjis are Trembling You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 5 Warning of the Battles in the Kingdom of Light, Chattanjis are trembling the skyfighter piloted by Captain Breeze landed in front of the Atlantis. Entering the driver's cab, Captain Breeze saluted Director A. Hello everyone. Upon hearing the sound, Zhu Jianhui turned around and exclaimed in surprise, a gust of wind. Leaning back in the chair, Captain Breeze joked, soldiers who have fallen to the bottom of the valley. Director Ji Gang raised his eyebrows and said, how could you say that? Captain Breeze looked around but found that three victorious team members were missing. What about others? Yi Rui replied, Horai and Xinqing have piloted the dolphin to search for the monster's lair. Captain Kuangfeng asked in confusion, where's Degu? Lina looked down at Diga, who had turned into a stone statue on the screen. That's the Degu team member, said Zhu Jianhui with a heavy voice. Captain Breeze realized that he had seen the world before, but he didn't expect that Diga Ultraman, who saved his life, was actually Daegu. At this moment, Zongfang suddenly realized something was wrong. They could only rely on the ground wave communication system to observe the battle. Why could Captain Breeze find this place? It was a strange guy who brought me here, I brought him here. Answering the doubts of the sect, Captain Breeze opened the door to the driver's cab and brought someone in. As soon as he saw the visitor, Yi Rui exclaimed in surprise, Respect me, Jinmu. Director Zay was amazed by the efficiency of Captain Breeze. It wasn't long before his orders were issued that this person arrived. The only scientist present, Dr. Hachio, immediately approached Masaki Kigo and said, I'm asking you, the machine you made in Kumamoto Cave. Before Dr. Hachio could finish speaking, Masaki Kigo turned around and said, Photogenetic Factor Converter. Dr. Octopus nodded and said, I want to know its principle. We need to resurrect Diga, who has become a stone statue. Looking at Diga on the screen, Dr. Octopus said with certainty, We have an energy supply device. Dr. Dan Ho, who had a low sense of existence, asked in disbelief, 
isn't the energy supply device and TPC base all abandoned? Dr. Octopus proudly stepped on the floor and said, it's right under our feet. The scene came to the outdoors, and Yume walked with a familiar-looking man. You have such amazing power. With his hands behind his back, the shepherd of Tongye smiled and said, Actually, I think my strength is remarkable, and it happened not long ago. Looking at Mayumi, Shepherd Karano nodded and said, Goodbye. Looking at the figure of the shepherd Tongye, Mayumi asked in confusion, Where are you going? With the dangerous environment surrounded by black mist everywhere, Mayumi didn't want such a person to take risks. I still have something to do. Only I can do that, said Makoto Kurano, standing under a faint artificial light source after Dijia was transformed into a stone statue, not far from the fall, the dolphin quietly suspended in the pitch black deep sea. A voice interrupted the chatter between Horai and Shinchen. Don't give up, it's not yet time for despair. The even more melancholic new city thought it was time for itself, but surprisingly said in confusion that it was an angel. Horai scolded him as an idiot. He didn't know why other people's voices could still be heard and the communication system was almost turned into scrap metal. Who are you? The voice replied, Think of me as someone who has received light in your heart from Daegu. Anyone watching the video can tell that this is the man who was just with Mayumi. And even though he was still on land just now, he was able to have a direct conversation with the dolphin not far from Gatanjal. What is this principle, super communication technology, or superpowers? Listen, something will be delivered to you soon. Once you receive it, take good care of it, continued the voice of the shepherd, who seemed to be Carino. Horai immediately raised a question. What do we need to operate? Perhaps it was a device that transmitted light to the statue of Digga. Inside the Atticus, everyone in the cockpit looked at the peculiar device that had been lifted and admired the talent of Masaki Kigo. Can I go personally? I have only conducted the experiment on the transformation of light genetic factors once, and this time I want to adjust it myself. Kigo Masaki turned back to look at Director Yoshimasa and Director Zay, pleading. Captain Ju Jian Hui posed a difficult problem. But this device doesn't have space to carry anyone else. Captain, I'm sorry, please listen to me. I know there's no room for me to speak here. Mr. Zhengmu's past was indeed wrong, but now he's also worried about the future of humanity. So I think, said Dr. Shao Transparent Dan weakly on the side Lina interrupted Dr. Dan and said, All right, come with us. Zhengmu Jingwu turned around and saw a pair of firm eyes that were not inferior to those of women. Lina looked at Director Zay and Captain Kiyoshi and said, We can only do our best now, can't we? The captain took a deep breath and said to Director Zay, Director, let's go. Director Zay replied, Please. Nodding and looking at the team members, Jiuehue said, Victory team, let's go. After a long flight, Gatanjal can now be seen with the naked eye. Yerue immediately notified Masamune Kigo through the call channel, Mr. Masamune, we are almost there. Inside the peculiar device, Masaki Kigo was struggling to twist between various devices, and he had never been so fortunate to have practiced flexibility before. In order to successfully deploy the light genetic factor converter, Captain Breeze and Captain Intermediary each piloted a fighter jet with the aim of attracting the attention of Gatanjal. However, after scraping the sand for a while, Gatanjal impatiently called for a Zoga. Zoga is chasing the plane, Gatan is watching the play, and Lena and others are on a transport plane that secretly approaches the top of the dolphin, dropping the light genetic factor converter into the sea. In the sky, Captain Breeze and Intermediary Hui relied on their extraordinary driving skills to entangle with the miscellaneous soldier Zoga. Together, they hit Zoga's wings, causing him to lose his flying ability and temporarily achieve victory. At the bottom of the sea, through monitors, Horai and Xincheng saw the light genetic factor converter landing on the seabed. At this moment, the voice of Shepherd Tamono reappeared. There is a man named Masaki inside that machine. 
He will operate it manually and needs you to drive the dolphin to adjust the angle so that the light emitted from the energy box is directed towards Digga. Standing by the deserted city beach, the shepherd Tongye gazed at the sea and said, Daegu, only you can't hear my voice, but I believe you must still be alive. You must become light again. Upon hearing these words, the upper echelons of the world of Digga immediately showed a sharp increase in interest in the shepherd of Tongye. Initially, they thought he was just an ordinary superpower, but according to his words, he seemed to be able to communicate with anyone on earth. This kind of ability is not comparable to short-range spiritual communication, so just as I found the staff of Masahiro Masaki, I started looking for Shepherd Tonya. However, their goal was not so easy to achieve, after all, as a telepathic and prophet, the Shepherd of Kono easily learned about some of the hawkish sinister ideas. He had not yet been persuaded by Oko, nor was he interested in mixing with the Dove faction. He used his ability to evade TPC investigators. The dolphin successfully caught the photogenetic factor converter at the bottom of the sea in Gatangel, where the currents were not disturbed. After careful navigation for a distance, it arrived near Digga. One person operated the robotic arm and one person operated the submarine, carefully maintaining a stable and appropriate posture in Horai and Shinchim. In the light genetic factor converter, Masaki Jingwu finally found the appropriate waveform. You must wake up, Digga. Press the confirm button, and a quiet underwater sound similar to the start of a nuclear reactor can be heard. Endless light emanates from the energy box and shines on Digga. The intensity of this light is so strong that even from a few thousand meters above sea level, one can clearly see the light from the seabed. Daegu, wake up quickly. Rely on the light we give you. However, the light that could be seen even at sea level was naturally detected by the nearby Gatangel. The powerful Digga's formidable claws were waving in the sea, and countless tentacles expressed Gatangel's anger at the tiny humans daring to resist. A huge turbulence is constantly generated, both the dolphin and the photogenetic factor converter are shaking in the turbulence, unable to bring light to Digga. Hikari! shouted Masaki Kigo, who struggled to maintain his figure. Hikari, who was studying the coordinates of the world left by the first generation in the neighboring universe of the Kingdom of Light, was taken aback. What am I supposed to do? Inside Digia, Daigo looked at the light and tried hard to seize the opportunity to transform into a giant of light and fight against Gitanjal. However, the turbulence continued to intensify, and the robotic arm of the dolphin could no longer grasp the photogenetic factor converter. The photogenetic factor converter was also damaged in the bumps and dents on the seabed, and the energy supply was forced to stop, extinguishing the dazzling light. The rescue operation seems to have failed, people gathered in a shelter to watch the news broadcast. So it seems that we have to embark on the path of destruction. In the universe of the Kingdom of Light, as soon as Ace appeared with a flashing red light, he regained some physical strength and energy under the illumination of a plasma spark tower before arriving at the Science Bureau. Coincidentally, the poor first generation, the promising Sophie, the scared Severn, and the fortunate Jack were also here. Brothers, the situation is urgent now. Let's go to that universe and take the Gatangel shark. Calm down. Ace. A big pussy pounced down, and Zofi calmed Ace down with a proven physical calming technique. Thanks to many years ago, Brother Man once visited that universe, and now Hikari is trying to obtain the coordinates of that universe. But after all, it's crossing the cosmic barrier, which is not easy. Ace, you need to give Hikari some time. Zofi turned into a gentle older brother and whispered softly. Siwan nodded and said, that's right, according to Brother Man, there are at least two and a half more years left in the video. Don't worry, it's enough time for Hikari to create a disposable space travel device. But that's also our business. Your most important thing is to protect our universe's Earth. Do you know how rare it is for the Yabo people to return to the Land of Light? After speaking, Sylvester is also an Ultraman. Yes, brother, I was reckless. Ace covered his face, 
unable to see any dissatisfaction on his face, but seeing the flickering energy waves in his hand, he didn't know how many pieces the first monster he encountered after returning to Earth would be cut into. End of this chapter At that moment in Chapter 6, I also became light. You are listening at NovelFull.audio At that moment in Chapter 6, I also became light. Just as people inside and outside the video were feeling that the world might be gone, and the entire civilization would be destroyed by the power of this dark ruler, a child in the corner suddenly stood up and shouted, Digia. And the other children also followed suit and shouted, Digga. In a glacier tribe in the Arctic region, a little girl holds a Digga doll made by her parents and looks firmly in a certain direction. Suddenly, a boundless golden light emanated from her body. The light illuminated the world shrouded in darkness, but it was not dazzling. In the frightened eyes of the little girl's parents, the golden light on the little girl's body flew up like a divine bird after reaching its peak, flying towards the place where the little girl was staring. And this scene happened all over the world. At this moment, in a world completely different from the SC identify system of Digga, the Tathagata in the journey to the west, who had no problems, widened his eyes and said, This. Is this really? Do leads the palace, observing the heat of the alchemy furnace while watching the video to relieve his boredom. His calm gaze also shows a hint of ripples. This is. Fate. The boy who helped refine pills on the side heard the old gentleman's murmur and his eyes twitched, unsure of what he was thinking. In different worlds, the light that these children's expectations turn into has different names, but there is no doubt that this extremely high level of energy cuts through the sky without agreement. Although the black mist that covers the sky still exists, the whole world has been illuminated as bright as a clear sky. In front of Gatangel, countless rays of light flooded into the ocean. At this moment, Gatangel was a bit panicked, and it could naturally feel the extraordinary energy. However, no matter how it stirred the ocean currents, it could not interfere with these rays converging into the Digga statue at the bottom of the sea. Watching countless rays of light gather in front of her, Lena inside the plane seemed to be inspired. A golden light burst out from Lena and merged into the countless rays of light ahead. Yi Rui, Zong Fan. Dot. Under the sea, light rushed into the large hole on the chest of the statue of Dijia. Here, it was originally the location of the timer, but the timer has been completely destroyed by Gatangel. But this does not prevent Digga from resurrecting with the help of these radiances. Within Digia, as he gradually began to despair, countless golden lights appeared in front of Daegu. In the light, countless children ran towards him, all shouting Digia's name together. This is. This is the true light. Daegu looked at the children and said excitedly. With difficulty in lifting his hand, Daegu caught the dazzling light this time. A golden light burst out from the bottom of the sea, and a huge column of light illuminated the sky, breaking through the atmosphere shrouded in black mist. Many extraterrestrial civilizations that are not far away have suddenly observed light that, if propagated at the speed of light, would take at least tens to hundreds of years to observe. At this moment, Earth is far more brilliant than any supernova in the universe. The light gradually subsided, rising from a height of over 50 meters to a height of 120 meters. Although it still couldn't match the height of 200 meters of Gatanji, judging from Gatanji's somewhat scared retreat, his momentum was completely unbeatable. Gatanji has regained his senses. Although the resurrected Digga is shining with gold, he can shake himself back half a step just by his aura. Although from the energy index he can feel, Digga is pushing himself higher but I'm tall and big. 200,000 tons. Even if it's Dijia in front of us, we definitely can't easily deal with it. Right. As long as I find the right time, use the petrified light again, and then quickly leave. However, the ideas are beautiful, and the reality is cruel. Dijia, who was shining with gold all over his body, simply gathered energy and concentrated an unimaginable amount of energy on his fist. He shot out from the air and flew Gatanji up to a kilometer away. This is not over yet. 
The same move is once again aimed at Gitanjal, but it is a simple energy release that can easily hammer Gitanjal like a yo-yo. Before the resurrection of Digga and his transformation into the Shining Digga, Gitanjal was still an invincible dark ruler. Some worlds with low energy systems substituted him into this world, feeling extremely hopeless. But now, looking at Gitanji who has been hammered, these low-dot-energy netizens from a certain eastern country in the world are all speculating online that Gitanji is so ugly and has potholes on his body. He may have a lot of meat, but he definitely doesn't taste good. The stinky smell is already considered good. Their viewpoint has been opposed by another super populous country. After venting his anger with the children inside his body, Daegu stopped beating Gitanji. His thoughts were connected with the children and they competed in the usual deadly technique. The posture of Zai Pele Ao's light line. The posture is exactly the same, and the special effects are not much different from normal, but with some extra golden light, but Gitanjal felt the threat of death. However, it was powerless as it wanted to escape. The recent long dot distance and close combat tactics not only treated it as a sandbag to vent its anger for the victims, but also suppressed its dark energy by the light of hope, making it completely unable to mobilize its strength to make its 200,000 ton body fly and escape from this planet that was once washed up 30 million years ago, once washed up 30 million years later, and then turned into a yo-yo ball. Zai Pei Li Ao's light hit Jia Tanjia, which could completely defend against the continuous bombing of nuclear weapons by shattering the outer shell, revealing the black flesh inside. Let me tell you what, this thing definitely won't taste good. Look at its meat quality, it's worse than the meat that can't be picked up in the sewer until it rots. Even as a top chef, I'm not sure if I can make it delicious. A chef in a certain universe was fishing. Originally beaten to the brink of death, after the hard shell was shattered, Gitanjal could do nothing but howl. Watching the colorful light gathering around the timer on Digia's chest, Gitanjal knew he had finished calving and silently accumulated his last strength the timer light hit Gitanjal, and a powerful force destroyed Gitanjal's body from the microscopic particle level. At this moment, Gitanjal's final strength came into play, forming a mournful cry that echoed throughout the world. As the howl spread globally, the ominous black mist that accompanied Gitanjal also dissipated. At this moment, due to the impact of the South Pacific Ocean, sunlight shone on Digga. Under the influence of the water vapor that rose into the air from the aftermath of the battle, the shimmering periphery of Digga was surrounded by soft rainbows, as if celebrating the victory of Digga and humanity. Standing in the sea, Dijia's body transformed into countless light particles, disappearing into the air, and the scene froze. The inventory is completed and the reward settlement begins. Important individuals will receive random inventory rewards. Inventory Conclusion To those who shine, at that moment, I have also become light. In the crevices of the heavens, Zwiyu had already used his power to expand the space the size of a coffin into an empty island several kilometers long and wide. At this moment, he was lying on the grass next to a small stream. Not long ago, he was still a human and a patient suffering from cancer. Now that he has the ability, of course, he should enjoy it. As for the so dot called rewards, it is naturally his attitude of finding fun. Compared to the fundamental power he has gained, those energies cannot even be considered as small fragments, just as compensation for his peeping. As for randomness. Who knows? Reward. Except for some big shots, everyone began to pay attention to what the so dot called reward was. Everyone saw that there was an incredibly powerful existence, peeping in the heavens, taking fragments from the timeline, and posting them in the heavens. This existence may have been too idle for too long, or it may have been too long and had a brain problem, which led to doing such a thing that disrupted the timeline of the heavens. Regardless, everyone felt that this was an old monster that had lived for an unknown number of years, or a superpower that could only do it for an unknown amount of time. Regardless of the reasons that led to these inventory checks, the rarity of rewards is the main reason why many worlds will engage in major events to gain the attention of this existence in the future. End of this chapter
Chapter 7 First Inventory Paused, Trailer 2000 Sounds in the Universe You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 7 First Inventory Paused, Trailer 2000 Sounds in the Universe, Congratulations to the main character Gatangel for obtaining the customized version of the 100000 Grade Imprisonment Curse. 1, 2, and 3 Wooden People Stay Still in the deep sea, Gatangel, who was drowsy and asleep, had just realized that something seemed to be happening in his consciousness when he realized that his body, which could have moved slightly, was like time had stopped, completely unable to move. Apart from his slowly becoming clear thinking, he couldn't even blink his eyes. Congratulations on the main inventory of characters, Yuan Daegu, who have obtained the Dark Giant's transformation spell. They can directly erase the consciousness of the dark giant, convert dark energy into light energy, or directly change the energy properties of the dark giant without changing their thinking. Camilla, you don't want to be erased from consciousness like Hytra and Dalam, do you? Congratulations to the main inventory character Karano Shepard for obtaining the 3D map of Lolui's dark giant ruins. Brave young man, go and create miracles. Congratulations to the main inventory character, Masaki Kigo, for winning the heart of a warrior. A true warrior is someone who combines calmness, wisdom, and strength. Young man, you have gone astray. Congratulations to the main inventory character Lina Chisa for obtaining the main palace aura. Here you are, this is the aura of the eldest lady. With it, you don't have to be afraid of latecomers. Did I say something more? Next, Intermediary Hui, Dr. Hachio, Director Zay, and even the first little boy to stand up and call for Diga received different rewards. Looking at them alone, the advanced technology may be precious, but compared to these five rewards, there is nothing worth mentioning. Katanju God Special 123 Wooden Man, Are You Polite, said James Rode, a good base friend of Tony Stark, the Iron Man in Marvel World who is also a roast serviceman. The life form of light is very interesting, and even accumulated in our civilization, it has never been recorded. Coincidentally, the same goes for me. When did the timeline of your universe reach? Has Zhang Beihai died? I am very interested in him. Remember to record all his basic particles and I won't bother you with the resurrection. The zero said to an energy body through the universe, I really don't understand how the artistic form of a mere earthling has changed your way of thinking and behavior. You even gave up your own name and changed it to Li Bai. In my opinion, those so dot called arts are useless. Only by regulating the timeline and constantly restarting the universe is the responsibility and power of civilizations like us. The arrival of memes is only a matter of time. If we don't find a way out in restarting the universe, we will also perish. The living are passers-by, and the dead are returning. Isn't that what you said? Only the god of death is eternal, and destruction is destruction. Transformed into an earthling, Levi walked on a primary civilization that had just ended nuclear war, seeking inspiration for poetry. Tao is different and does not conspire with each other. This sentence does not exist in the civilization of the zeroing, but it has a similar meaning. Therefore, Li Bai was ignored. Unless unexpected, in the next round of cosmic birth and death for billions of years, neither civilization will have any communication. In the universe of the Kingdom of Light, upon seeing that Daegu had obtained the Dark Giant technique, a middle-aged Ultraman with large horns couldn't help but look towards the outer space not far from the Kingdom of Light. There, there is a seal of his old friend. A fist in Superman's world, the hungry wolf training in the wilderness disdains it. Transforming darkness. It must be the so dot called dark guilt theory again. My own strength is far from the giant beasts in the video, but the hungry wolf has this confidence and must become like them, or even stronger. On a certain timeline within the sphere of influence of the Kingdom of Light, Torikia was drinking coffee in human form and shared the same thoughts with him. Dina's timeline reminds Dagu, who has lost his ability to transform into a Digga, of the events before his wedding. Camilla. 
Daegu was unaware of what happened 30 million years ago, but he could feel Camilla's unbroken love for 30 million years. Although Dijia is Dijia and I am myself, as the human body of Dijia, Daegu, a good old man, felt indescribable pain and guilt in his heart. As both children have too, he naturally worries about these things, and Lena is also comforting the lost Dagu. However, not long after becoming Dijia, Dagu, who had just developed feelings for each other and had not yet expressed his feelings to Lena, was doomed. Firstly, his identity as Diga was completely exposed. Fortunately, director Zay and seemingly irritable and brainless director Jigong were very protective. After he returned safely to TPC headquarters, he relied on their blessings not to face the representatives of the old forces. But you don't have to face them, you need to face your teammates. You're so good, Daegu. How could you resist such a big thing on your own? Xinqin grabbed Daegu's neck and insisted on him giving an explanation. Deputy Captain Zongfang drank milk and said, I told you that you didn't get very close to Zillazen that time. Why did you smell so bad after that? It turned out that you chose melee after transforming. Yes, Daegu. As a victorious team member, Although not fearing the harsh combat environment was a necessary condition, you could have chosen to release light from a long distance at that time. Captain Zhu Jian Hui said with a slightly stern tone. Is that girl in the dolphin submarine? My future wife. I'm really curious how I got to know her, said Horai thoughtfully Xinqing stepped forward and patted Horai's head, saying, everyone is concerned about Daegu, but you're actually thinking about your own affairs. Looking at Lena, who wrinkled her nose but couldn't conceal the surprise of her eyes achieving success, Horai could only tell Daegu with his eyes that I did my best, brother. The topic couldn't shift. But Daegu. Lena, who was smiling, approached Daegu with a warm smile that emitted an infinite chill. The nervous new city shuddered and let go of Daegu. Why did I gain the so dot called Palace Aura, maybe? You have other women. Although it was cute and sweet, it made people feel like this was a majestic queen. Ah, uh, I, I. I don't know. Daegu's eyes dodged, it's impossible for the celebrity poster he posted in his room to count a few hundred kilometers apart, watching everything in the command room of the Victory Squadron, Shepard Kono cleverly dodged a blonde agent disguised as an ordinary tourist from a street corner. Shuttling through the crowd, suspended yet still, with the help of people around him to block his figure in the eyes of foreign agents, carefully observing the map that the person has just obtained. With this map, even if the remains of the deep sea do not surface, one can still find weak points by submarine and carve out a path with torpedoes. The information on the map is very clear. According to the guide, three super ancient dark giants that have been sealed for 30 million years can be found. They were once comrades and Lovers of Digga when he was in the dark camp. Thinking of the dark giant teleportation technique that Daegu obtained. Kirano Shepard felt that one of the two dark giants besides his lover. Was arranged for him. The one who shares his thoughts is Masaki Kigo, who is liberated from long-term nightmares and has less attachment to becoming a giant. After correcting his mindset, he also saw a partial structure of the light genetic factor converter in the video, and he has prepared to design the light genetic factor converter with the cooperation of TPC. The mentality of eager to gain powerful power has changed, but he lacks the excitement to become an Ultraman. He also guessed that the Dark Giant technique was his own opportunity, but now it is still human, and it is definitely not possible to directly integrate with the transformed Dark Giant. The light genetic factor converter must be built as soon as possible, which may be a new direction of human evolution. The inventory is temporarily over, with a half-time break. The next inventory will be conducted tomorrow at the same time, next inventory preview. 2000 Sounds from the Universe End of this chapter Chapter 8 Beihai, Think More You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 8 Beihai, Think More the inventory has temporarily ended, giving a lot of time for the world to digest. 
Although there is no direct evidence to prove the authenticity of the inventory content in most worlds except for the world of Digga, unfortunately, the inventory directly appears in the consciousness of all intelligent beings. Such an outrageous scale alone is enough to make all those in power pay attention. So, searching for important characters in the inventory, hoping that they would still be searching in their own world, preparing for the future. Seeing the terrifying enemies within the inventory and those who knew in the dark that something big might happen in the future, they began to prepare themselves. Anyway, anyone with a bit of brain is trying to make themselves or their race stronger to cope with the upcoming crazy situation. In the end, Makoto Kono did not hide anymore. Instead, he contacted Director Zay, who was watching a play in the command room of the Victory Corps. By opening a server voice call, Makoto Kono successfully arrived at the TPC naval base under the protection of the disguised Victory Corps and the TPC police station. Director Zay exists and sees his future self. After predicting his direction based on the inventory, Shepard Tomino successfully guides himself and tells several people in the command room about the Lulu Yi ruins map. The matter was of great significance, and Masaki Kigo was also called in. Upon learning of the existence of three dark giants, and based on Oko's abilities, he could even convert them all into the power of his own camp, Director Zay did not hesitate to approve the ruins exploration plan. Due to the large scale involved in this matter, but the confidentiality must be maximized, a few people who knew some information began to bustle around. They only slept for two or three hours at night before continuing to run around the TPC headquarters, and even many people have boarded planes to other continental branches. At a time when all the heavens and all the realms were busy, the inventory began once again. At the beginning of the screen, it is a familiar place for people on modern earth, with all the heavens and all the realms. This is the lobby of the United Nations, and the huge United Nations logo hanging above the podium, as well as the diverse ethnic groups present in different regions, all signify that this is a serious global conference. The expressionless spokesperson walked up to the podium and looked at the representatives of various countries below, saying, the Planetary Defense Council has now entered the final agenda. To announce the list of last selected facers and to announce the start of the faces program. Planetary Defense Council The leaders of various modern timelines on Earth have frowned, isn't this the United Nations? Is it a name difference in parallel worlds? But from the name, it's from the perspective of Earthlings, defending against something from outside of Earth. So. Aliens, right although many worlds have not had direct contact with aliens, both in terms of probability and in many sealed materials, historical sightings and eerie things prove the existence of aliens. Aliens, in the imagination of these Earths, there are both peaceful and aggressive. And in the video, this Earth even announced planetary defense at the United Nations General Assembly. It can only be said that we have to work hard even in space, and as humans, we can only wish you good luck. In the video, the spokesperson continued, before entering the agenda, I think it is necessary to do a brief review of the opposite wall plan. Lowering their heads, the spokesperson glanced at the speech draft and said, all countries have noticed the following fact. As shown in the information just now, the Trisolarans communicate directly with transparent thinking, which makes them less capable of strategizing, disguising, and deceiving. This is the foundation of the Trisolarans plan. The core of the Trisolarans plan is to select a group of strategic plan makers and leaders, and we call them the Trisolarans. The Trisolarans aim to mislead and deceive the entire world, as much as possible, and delay time. Therefore, they will be granted great power, without having to explain even their most incomprehensible actions. Those who face the wall will bear the most difficult mission in human history. They will completely close their hearts to the entire world, and even the entire universe, and shoulder this great mission to walk alone through the long years. Here, let me express deep respect to them on behalf of human society. The scene dimmed here, and the spokesperson's voice also weakened. This video is meant to let the heavens and realms understand what the wall-facing plan means. It can be said that after the core of the face-to-wall project was expressed by this spokesperson, 
almost all Earths with the same body as this spokesperson panicked. Who knows if their own Earth is facing an alien attack? In the Trisolaran's world, the timeline at this time is just Yang Donggang's death, and news of the existence of the Trisolarans is still spreading on a very small scale. The wall-facing plan even has a concept. But even if it's just a concept, it proves that videos are taking stock of their future. By analyzing the video footage, a magical news was quickly obtained, which was that there was a very discordant person in the footage. This person appeared very nervous in a serious occasion like the United Nations General Assembly, shaking his legs and looking around. After simple facial matching, the results were even more surprising. This participant named Luo Ji is just a university teacher who is just waiting to die for nothing. In terms of interpersonal relationships, apart from knowing a recently deceased Yang Dong, there is nothing outstanding. Without considering the specific characteristics of his profession, people like him can be said to be in large numbers, and it doesn't seem like they are qualified to attend meetings at this level. Moreover, his appearance doesn't seem like he knows he wants to attend and was pulled over temporarily. The abnormality of Luo Ji himself not only caught the attention of earthlings, but also caught the attention of Trisolarans. At this time, Luo Ji had not yet had a conversation with Yi Wenjie in front of Yang Dong's tomb, so the three-body man naturally did not take him seriously. However, an extremely contradictory appearance appeared in the inventory, and the major he taught was also called Sociology of the Universe, which sounded the alarm for the Trisolarans. Kill Luo Ji. This command can be said to appear instantly within ETO, the three-body organization of Earth. The video continues, and the scene transitions to a cozy room where a soldier is sitting in front of his elderly father's bed. Dad, I'll be on guard and go to Jiuquan tomorrow, the old man in bed nodded in affirmation. Zhang Beihai continued, as you discussed with your predecessors, they want to build a space fleet based on the Navy. They believe that the Navy's combat mode is closest to the space station. That's right, the old man in bed said slowly. I also heard that PDC will start the face-to-wall program, and one of the face-to-wall individuals will be Chinese, which may require our cooperation in the operation. The old man looked into his son's eyes and said, face the wall plan, it's a good plan. The Trisolarans have transparent thinking and are not good at concealing or deceiving. With them monitoring our every move through Jizi, this may be our only hope. Zhang Beihai said heavily, even now, Jizi may be lurking around us. As Zhang Beihai meaninglessly observed the surroundings, the scene came to outer space, with many smooth spheres floating in space, gazing at the earth like an abyss. No one knows how many intelligent beings are on earth now, and perhaps the Trisolarans are monitoring more than just those facing the wall. The old man nodded and said, the space army that will directly confront the Trisolarans will be a disaster-stricken area. In the future, you must be careful when doing things and speaking. The words, Asian Space Army, flashed over Zhang Beihai's shoulder. As the screen zoomed in, Zhang Beihai frowned and pondered. For a long time, Zhang Beihai hesitated and said, then I, what should I do? The old man heard this and looked at the room door that was not closed. Zhang Beihai, who was extremely familiar with his own family, knew what his father was looking at and his expression froze. Think more, Zhang Beihai did not receive a direct answer from his father. Zhang Beihai understood something and clenched his fist in confusion, looking sad. What about after thinking about it? The old man's gaze flickered, Beihai, I can only tell you, before that, you should think more. Looking up at his father's calm gaze, Zhang Beihai lowered his head again, and the father and son fell into silence. The screen kept flashing back, and Zhang Beihai remembered his father's teachings when he was a child, waiting for his father to return. At that time, teaching was based on the situation and perspective of the country. But now, he must transcend the perspective of planetary civilization. After a long time, Zhang Beihai put on his military hat and stood up. I know, father, I'm leaving. Zhang Beihai, as a soldier defending the people, saluted his father who was running out of time. 
Father's health is not a big problem, but he knows that this seemingly simple chat may be the last meeting between father and son. The old man looked at his son and saluted him with a military salute. After the ceremony, Zhang Beihai turned back without hesitation and walked towards the outside of the room. The Space Army glow on his military cap was incredibly clear under the warm colored lights. End of this chapter Chapter 9 A Brief History You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 9 A Brief History Under the sunset at the shipyard, Zhang Beihai and his friends walked together. You have been feeling very low lately, Wu Yu, Zhang Beihai said as he looked at his friend. You should know the reason, Wu Yu replied after a moment of silence. Zhang Beihai did know why this old friend who had been with him for many years was sad. You are very sad, you think we will inevitably fail. Is there anything you want to persuade me? Wu Yu's tone was very depressed. Zhang Beihai shook his head and said, No. Wu Yu felt a little helpless and said, Why, do you want to do ideological work for me? Yes, I don't think humans have no chance of winning this war, Zhang Beihai replied. In the three-body world, Zhang Beihai, who was being summoned to the secret base, lowered his head. After learning about the cause through the video, Zhang Beihai understood himself and how could he possibly be an optimistic victorist but fortunately, neither the video nor the reality of oneself have truly exposed their inner selves with so much space appearing, not only the analysts, but also Zhang Beihai realized that he may be crucial in this race-related war. He needs to be more careful than in the video, constantly thinking and adjusting his actions and ways of thinking based on the video. Beihai, you used to be very realistic. But now, where did your belief in victory in this interstellar war come from? Wu Yu was very puzzled. Zhang Beihai said calmly and confidently, in human history, there have been many wars where the weak prevail over the strong. Humanity does not need universal military theories, and one exception is enough. The key is that in 400 years, we must still have the courage to take action and the confidence to win. Zhang Beihai's tone was very confident and firm. But Wu Yu is different. Sometimes you really have imagination. Zhang Beihai said, No, I have confidence. Do you know the original intention of the wall facing plan? Of course, Wu Yu knew this kind of conference resolution. Because the Trisolarans cannot see through human thinking, they believe that humans still have hope of winning through strategy. That's right, thinking is the greatest weapon for humans to face the Trisolarans, and the belief in victory is a crucial part of it. Zhang Beihai opened his arms and bathed in the sunshine. In the world of the Trisolarans, everyone is quite worried. Although their position with the Earth has not been exposed due to the video, there is no need to worry about the impact of higher civilization for the time being. However, the weaknesses of their own race have been exposed. Even if they occupy the earth in the future and encounter other equally matched opponents, they will lose many advantages and even be targeted. As the screen turned, in the large conference hall, a representative solemnly announced that the vote on the proposal to completely ban fugitivism had begun, and all the representatives present unanimously agreed to the proposal. In the eyes of the advanced civilization of the Trisolarans, this scene is so foolish that it has exploded. They have already faced a threat from a civilization stronger than themselves, and they also need to extinguish their own civilization's last means of security. How did such a foolish civilization develop from primitive times to this point where there was no internal struggle to destroy it? The mind of a Trisolarans person is somewhat stable, at least such a foolish decision is beneficial and harmless for them. The resolution to ban escapism has been completed, and the second agenda item has begun to be proposed. The new topic is to hope that the technology of spacecraft can be open and shared, and all humanity can fight against the Trisolarans together. However, there are only a few who have a high pattern, and they all understand that this is an idea that is absolutely impossible to achieve in the current environment. In a certain mythological world, the Yellow Emperor, who had been hidden in the tomb for countless years, was about to explode with anger at this moment. 
As one of the five emperors and with an unparalleled love for others, he was already extremely angry about the audacity of extraterrestrial demons attempting to exterminate humans in the three-body world. However, in the end, the external enemies were no longer powerful, and humans were still fighting for this small profit at such a critical moment. The earth-shattering flame surged into the sky, instantly causing Emperor Yen, who was cooking flowers and plants in the cave from billions of kilometers away, to shake his head. Why is it that your temper is so much more irritable than mine, even though my title contains the word, inflammation? What a turtle grandson! Every day, without any adjustment, just playing with a clean beard and knowing how to fight. The curse from the Yellow Emperor was automatically transformed into heavenly sounds by this world, echoing throughout the entire world. The debate in the video is still ongoing, with one representative's words causing public outrage and refusing to share the technology. As the scene changes, representatives who have just sparked a dispute at the conference appear in a traditional Chinese architecture. The appearance of a man with blonde hair and blue eyes here is indeed somewhat discordant. But discord is secondary, and this represents the most surprising conversation with a man dressed in the attire of a Qin dynasty emperor. Ha ha ha. Gauss, you're really a genius. The man in costume looked at him admiringly. The representative with the code name Gauss sneered as he watched the argument replayed on the screen. Look, there's no need for the Lord to take action, and humans can't leave the solar system on their own. As soon as he said this, the high dot level human beings in the three body world understood that this guy is an ETO. Due to Gauss himself not being aware of the secret conversation that switched to ETO when the screen was transferred, he was already arrested before even being able to transfer it. The subsequent video content has nothing to do with him anymore. He is just a routine that pushes the plot forward, and after saying a few words, it's gone. The screen jumps again, and in a conference room, Zhang Beihai and Wu Yu are attending a meeting. However, before attending the meeting, Zhang Beihai suggested to the leadership that his friend Wu Yu was no longer suitable for work. The guilt in his heart did not show in his expression. Wu Yu, who was deeply rooted in defeatism, agreed to Zhang Beihai's arrangement and took the initiative to resign. The content of the meeting was not important, but after the meeting ended, Zhang Beihai stayed in the conference room. After all the other attendees left, Chang Weixi, as the boss, asked, What do you have to tell me? Zhang Beihai nodded and proposed the idea of reinforcing the future. Chang Weixi turned around and looked at Zhang Beihai, who was calm in favor and disgrace. He realized that Zhang Beihai seemed to have some other purpose. However, under the shadow of Zizi's surveillance, he realized and didn't ask much. Tomorrow there will be a meeting of wall faces, please prepare for it. The next day, in Zhang Beihai's office, Chang Weixi pushed open the door and walked in, carrying one of the focal points of the meeting recently announced by the person facing the wall. Facing the wall, Bill Hines. Good leader, Zhang Beihai saluted. Hey, sit down, don't be so restrained. Chang Weixi's tone was easygoing, completely different from yesterday's conversation when he realized Zhang Beihai's abnormal appearance. This is Bill Shans, the person facing the wall. Looking at Zions, Chang Weixi pointed at Zhang Beihai and said, This is the one I just mentioned, Zhang Beihai. Zhang Beihai sat upright and couldn't pick out any flaws. Hello, those who face the wall. The purpose of this trip is to understand the source of your unwavering belief in victory, as you know, now all humanity needs such unwavering belief. Bill Hines stated the purpose of this trip. Zhang Beihai replied expressionlessly, we will provide all possible assistance. My plan is to improve human intelligence, and what I am doing now is no different from that of a university professor, so just treat me as an ordinary professor, don't be polite. Hines' tone was very easygoing. Zhang Beihai looked at Chang Weixi and said, perhaps we can say that this is part of the plan. The conversation was very plain, and the topic seemed like it was about to be discussed to death. Just then, outside Zhang Beihai's office, a shout came from outside. Old boss. 
Upon hearing this sound, Chang Weixi's heart twitched. Before he could react, a man opened the door and rushed in. Grand Historian. This is a top secret meeting. Chang Weixi knocked on the table, feeling his blood pressure skyrocketing in fear from this old subordinate. Dashi didn't care and said directly, Luo Ji said this is part of the plan, he asked me to come. You should consult with others first. Chang Weixi pointed out. I have consulted, but I still need to find you for approval. Dashi Zhan said with his hands. Chang Weixi was almost smirked and said, then at least you have to tell me in advance. Didn't you see us having a meeting with the person facing the wall? How did I know that the person facing the wall was so evil? Do you know what my plan is? Dashi also felt a bit impolite when he did it. Draw a dream lover for us to find. Speaking, Dashi laughed heartily. Bill Hines was also amused by the performance of another wall-faced man, Luo Ji, and said, this sounds like a wall-faced plan. Dashi continued to talk about Luo Ji's performance in the past few days, saying that PDC can handle everything before, but finding the dream lover can only be achieved through Dashi's efforts in finding someone in this area. After sighing and bidding farewell to Heinz, Chang Weixi took Dashi out. End of this chapter Chapter 10 Trisolarans Please open the microphone for communication. You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 10 Trisolarans Please open the microphone for communication looking at the door being led by the leader, Shans groped his brow with his hand and said, Political Commissar Zhang, just like the Chinese challenger, I am not willing to take on the responsibility of being a challenger. There is an indescribable bitterness in Heinz's words. Zhang Beihai expressed understanding, I understand that it is very difficult to take responsibility for the future of all humanity. Outside the video, people from all over the world nodded and closed their hearts, shouldering the hope of the entire world. Without clearly expressing their true intentions, achieving strategic fraud is far more difficult than walking in dense minefields. If you insist on comparison, it is like hiding among raindrops without any external force in rainstorm weather, but you cannot wet yourself. Whether successful or not, these wall warriors are worthy of respect. At least in the eyes of people outside the three-body world, they are all worthy of respect. At the same time, in the world of the three-body problem, the two wall-faced individuals, Luo Ji and Bill Shans, who have already unveiled their curtains, have been closely protected by their respective countries. The wall-facing plan can be said to have started early, without any conference selection, and thus began. Bill Shans is also paying attention to his performance in the video. In the video, I said that the purpose is to improve human intelligence. Based on my understanding, this is definitely not true. Everything is fraudulent in the three-body civilization. This is a cover-up of the true purpose, and what the true purpose is. Bill Hines of the three-body world did not immediately think of it, but only understood that improving human intelligence is the best cover-up, with light, justice, and great prospects. Yeah, I've been suffering from insomnia lately, said Sean's in the video, leaning against his chin in distress. Becoming a wall-faced person is too much pressure for him. Looking up, Sean's looked at Zhang Beihai and said, you know, their technological level is overwhelming us. No matter what you think, it's a losing situation. Upon hearing these words, whether it was Zhang Beihai in the video, Zhang Beihai in the three-body world, or even Bill Shans in the three-body world, their hearts were moved. They also realized that what Shans was saying at this time was another thing. Defeatism, and even. Had a deeper meaning. However, they only kept it in mind, including the think tanks formed by various countries at this moment, and after analyzing these words, they came to similar conclusions. However, until the inventory is completed, rewards are obtained, and whether they can help humanity resolve the three-body crisis is evaluated, everyone must keep these in their hearts. Except for ETO. However, due to the sudden appearance of the video, the Trisolarans were afraid of any changes and stopped communicating with ETOs. 
As a result, many ETOs were arrested by the suddenly strengthened official encirclement force. In order to prevent them from transmitting messages to the Trisolarans, they were injected with a huge amount of anesthesia, which was enough for them to sleep until the end of the inventory and face trial. And the remaining ETOs are simply frantically evading official forces, without even having time to watch videos, let alone analyze. In the video, after Sean expressed his belief that humans will inevitably be defeated, Zhang Beihai remained calm and said, Do you think that humans will be defeated? Heinz, of course, vehemently denied, it's not that I personally think so, but that everyone thinks so, and this will bring significant ideological obstacles to long-term strategic deployment. Do you want to do ideological and political work for all humanity? Zhang Beihai asked. Sean nodded and said, it's like this. Human intelligence encompasses many dimensions, and in fact, perseverance and belief are also important factors in intelligence. Without these, humans cannot achieve victory. Zhang Beihai nodded and said, to improve the intelligence of all humanity, it will consume a considerable amount of resources. Yes, that's exactly why I want to ask you. Shans looked at Zhang Beihai and said, how did you become incredibly firm in your thinking? Upon hearing that Shans did not express any thoughts directly, Zhang Beihai could be certain that the person facing the wall in front of him was definitely a fellow believer. This is a comrade. Do you already have a plan to win? asked Shans with a positive tone. Zhang Beihai remained silent for a long time, recalling the conversation and reconfirming the true purpose of Heinz, while organizing a script that Jeezy and the Trisolarans would never understand. You misunderstood. I currently have no plans to move towards victory but I have faith in victory. Heinz looked up and said, Oh. Why do you say that? The matter is of great significance, and both of them are using exciting language to confront and explore. As both sensitive individuals, one cannot be too careful. Although it is difficult to defeat the strong with the weak, history has proven that it is not impossible. Shans listened to Zhang Beihai's words and took a small sip of tea. Thanks to his wife's background in East Asian culture, Sean's is not as passionate about tasting Chinese tea as most Caucasians. Perhaps your parsing computer will have a huge impact on the future, even the Space Army. Upon hearing the three words, Space Army, Hinston was shocked and stared blankly at Zhang Beihai. The three words, Space Army, not only confirm that Zhang Beihai is a comrade, but also point the way for his plan. Ha ha ha. Zhang Beihai first broke the silence with a light smile. Heinz also laughed along with it. He is really happy. He was originally just seeking some experience in ideological and political education, but unexpectedly met a comrade who even helped him clarify the direction while he was still confused. The long dot standing confusion has completely disappeared, and the pressure has officially transformed into motivation. In this world, there are people who understand themselves better than the person next to them, and their inner hopes are also greatly magnified. Thank you. Sean extended his right hand, sincerely expressing his gratitude to Zhang Beihai for waking him up. You're welcome, Zhang Beihai smiled and stood up, clasping his hand with Zion's in the three-body world, Zhang Beihai and Zion's both breathed a sigh of relief. They both understood that the other person was their comrade, but soon began to worry again. Because there is no shortage of smart people in this world, the video shows a private conversation between Zhang Beihai and Heinz, and some hidden meanings can only be detected by Zizi, but they cannot understand. But now that all humanity has heard it, there are naturally people who can understand their own words. They are the real fugitives. However, it is precisely because the theme of the inventory is positive words like, the most handsome, that the high dot level human team unanimously agreed, after a brief discussion, on how to deal with defeatists like Zhang Beihai and Sean C, which need to wait until the end of the video. Of course, regarding the ideas of defeatism and escapism, these elite high dot level individuals did not directly communicate, but rather hinted at each other. Lying and disguising is the only and greatest advantage of humanity. End of this chapter